This has a lot more damage! <laughs> Holy moly! Good morning everybody, welcome to Mortal Gaming. This is me again, Marvin, and we're now here for another video for Ragnarok Origin. And this time we're going to be talking about the Assassin Cross. The one that would be breaking all of the barriers in the latter parts of the game. First of all, I want to thank uh, Baby Girl or BBG or Isaac Ramos for lending me this character. He is the current guild leader of the Loki guild, the one that has really taught me a lot of things in the KR server. I'm really appreciative and really thankful for all of the help. Until now, they're still helping me, even though I'm not even playing at the Korea server. I'm really, really thankful for that. Thank you, BBG. Thank you, Isaac. And uh, to go further with this uh, video, let's start with the stats. For the stats, of course, you would still need... Uh, this one is already, you know, level 137. But you need to prioritize attack speed. I could not, you know, emphasize that much further because uh i see comments say stating that you should prioritize this don't prioritize attack speed in my opinion and in our experience playing in the kr server i really really am sure that you have to focus on attack speed and every bit of agility is very important so you have to focus on that one once it is already 99 that's the time that you focus on dexterity and on strength so the reason why this character doesn't have any dexterity is because this is already on the late games wherein everything is critting so you don't need hit but in terms of our ragnarok origin global server we are still on level 70 so you still need a little bit of dexterity and strength uh, around 20 dexterity is fine and then the rest would be put into strength it's still very early for us to be investing in luck so strength is the way to go all right so next after that is going to be the skills let's go for the skills of course by this time i'm i'm sure and i do hope that you have a red cut card which is the stem worm card i do hope that you have prioritized that when you were still an assassin so you have to have that right now that's one of the biggest damage dealing uh, card that you would need in your uh in your play and even on the late game if you would be looking at the gears of this character you would see that the equipped card here is still stem worm card of course we still don't have the injustice card this injustice card is going to be arriving when the glass time patch arrives but until now on level 130s 140s that is the end game card for any assassin the stem worm card okay so for the skills of course if you already have that stem worm card of course you have to have the red cut okay let's start with the skills of the uh, thief so it's still double attack five dodge shield increased dodge hiding black backslide and uh only four in venom okay this one is five because we had extra points on the assassin cross stage next would be your assassin skill tree 10 on dual wielding mastery and then red cut and then red cut mastery and then after that that's already 30 five on hiding research one on backslide hiding and last four on enchant poison and then last but not the least on your assassin cross skill tree of course you have to first equip or skill or learn enchant deadly poison you have to have this level 10 because this is the one that would be saving you from all of the hassle of you know uh spending on elemental converters and at the same time it would be synergistic with your course with your various course we'll be talking about that later after 10 of enchant deadly poison that's the time that you go for breaking point or i'm not sure what this is uh, what's the translation of this one on the global server but that's the next one and then last one would be the double attack 
mastery. It's up to you if you're going for the double attack mastery or the breaking point here. Okay, so that's only 30 skill points. It's still up to you when you're going to be, uh, where you're going to put the additional or the last 10 skill points. But on PvP build, you really need the Poison React because that is the only way for you to counter opponents that are also Assassin Cross. All right, let's now go to the crucial part of the guide, which is the gears. So let's now first talk about the weapons, okay? So for the weapon, it's still going to be Sandstorm. As what I've told you guys, attack speed is king. You need to prioritize on having 500% attack speed on your gameplay because that's where you get most of your DPS attack speed okay so sandstorm two of this left and right that's what makes it kind of hard to build in terms of expenses an assassin cross because you need two weapons and when we talk about weapons you need to heighten them their refine further both of them you need enchants on both you need uh you need refines you need modifications all of those things and you need four cards all right so for the level 80 weapon we will now be you know exchanging the attack speed on your weapon because we have a very good set on your armor which would be giving you a lot of attack speed so now it's your time to choose between the reinforced dagger for you to increase the damage on your sonic knife or the red cut or you could go now and start building your crit dual dagger build so that would be using now the shooting star shooting star increases your crit ignore defense and if you're going to ask me if the ignore defense of the stats is separate from the ignore defense that the crit does yes they both stack so if you have a higher ignore defense stat and at the same time you crit you deal more damage to the enemy and that's the reason why ignore defense and crit here are together in one weapon so it's still up to you most of the people are now going to be starting with shooting star on level 80 but you're still allowed and it's still okay for you to use reinforced dagger it's just that the reinforced dagger would be not going to make you concentrate on crit which is the one that is should be starting in this very stage of your gameplay so shooting star is still one of the best options for your gameplay on level 80 and on level 90 it's still going to be the same shooting star and that would be until level 100 plus so that is your end game weapon the shooting star all right so for the cards of course i would still give uh, you know all around cards while you're still not able to farm for the racial cards the element cards and the size cards but by the way those cards are going to be until the end game so it's not going to be a waste for you to focus on those cards and if you're gonna ask me which of those cards racial cards elements cards um, size cards are you still going to be focusing of course the most important thing there is the scale worker and the minoros that's going to be until the end game if you're still budgeting your things andre card is the one to go for all around but as of now it's not going to be that much of an impact to your gameplay it's still going to be element cards and racial cards so for the mr it's still obvious you need hunter fly card in order for you to, to you know to save potions and for the enchants i would suggest for you to focus on attack speed still if you it's it's kind of hard to you know get 500 percent attack speed as of now the maximum is 400 percent attack speed but still your focus is going to be 500 percent attack speed and that is the enchant that you should be searching for if not sharp is the way to go if you already have that max attack speed easily on your character for the modification, it's auto attack damage, of course. And for the refined priority, it's still the number one priority in your list. 
both of your left and hand daggers okay so let's now go to the armors for the armor of course on level 70 it's still going to be thief clothes you can juggle between two between full plate or thief clothes but in my opinion you can now start with thief clothes and if you're still not that confident in staying alive you know full plate is the way to go but one agility at this point in time is going to be very crucial so thief clothes would be part of the consideration now on your armor on level 80 it's now going to be the rider's suit or the gale set but it's going to be very important for you because it's now going to increase your agility by a lot and that goes together with most of the most of the things and gears in the game our priority is agility and for level 90 of the armor we will now change to tears armor so that we could deal more damage because by this time we already have the accessories that would be increasing your attack speed by a lot so now we're now going to focus on physical damage and that goes with the tears armor on level 100 it's now going to be in terms of survivability so goibens armor is going to be the way to go and for us to get the goiben set which would be giving us a lot of damage reduction and at the same time hp because the damage and the attack speed is already taken care of other gear sets in terms of the damage it is already focused on our weapon in terms of the attack speed it is already focused on our accessories all right the card there is going to be your main source of tankiness let's go for savage card or peko peko card if you are you know if you're still not that lucky in getting but your target now is still going to be argyope battery pasana and dokebi cards okay for the enchant it's still sharp battle on the early parts of the game because we're still very much considering on the pve part of the gameplay but on level 80s or 90s, you can start on Tranquility or even on Status Reduction or Status Resistance, which would be Fortitude. Okay, for the modification, it's still Vitality and uh, Reduction in, on Incoming Magic Damage. And for the, Resona uh, for the Refine, it's still for the Resonance Consideration. So for the accessories, of course, Mater Slish is the way to go on level 65 until level 84. And level 85, it's now Brooch. Okay, Brooch. Where is the Brooch? Where is the Brooch? Okay, this is the Brooch. Okay, and for level 95, we are now going for the Bandit's Ring, this one. And a combination with the Black Cat. Because the combination of the two would bring a set effect that increases your attack attack speed for every combined refinement of the two accessories and that is a lot because you can go up to 20 percent increase in attack speed so increase in attack speed on that side would now be reducing your requirement of attack speed on other parts of the gear that's why on level 90 plus we can now change our armors and our set gears okay so for the cards as i've told you guys a while ago stem worm card is the best and uh injustice card if you have if you have now the glass time patch and by the time that uh we get to level 95 i'm sure we will be having the glass time patch so injustice card is going to be the way so for the enchant still attack speed if you are not having your attack speed maxed yet but if it is already on the maximum side then go for the sharp and for the modification we don't have modification on the um on the accessories but for the refine after your weapons it's now going to be your focus to refine your accessories so that's your second priority now let's go to the garment for the garment on level 70, it's still going to be the same. The wool scarf is the one to go because it has the mountain ranger set, which increases your physical damage by 3%. For level 80 of the garment, we will now follow the gale set, which includes the moon shadow cloak. Okay, this one. Okay, and for level 90, we'll now go with the valley's man 2 
Where's the Valis Mantu? Okay, this one going together with the Tears gear set. And for level 100, we have the Goibin uh, Spolders here. For the cards, we will be wanting to get more re reduction on the damage. So we would need Jack card, Isis card, or Orc Baby card. When the Glass Time patch comes, the Raedric card is going to be wanted if you don't have still Orc Baby card. But still, Orc Baby card is going to be just fine. Uh, it's just 5% in difference in the neutral damage reduction. But as of now, Jack card and Isis card is going to be your go-to cards for your garment. For the enchant, it's still benediction or in a uh, reduction on your magic damage uh, that you receive, vitality and or luck if you have it, or on level 90 plus or 80 plus, you can start on level 80 plus, you can start building on your tranquility or fortitude. So for modification, it's still ignore defense. For the refined priority, it's also for resonance. Okay, so let's now go to the shoes. For the shoes, we'll still follow the sets, but as of level 70, okay, is this level 70? Of level 70, we have the Tidal shoes, as I've mentioned, because of the Mountain Ranger set. For level 80, we will follow the Gale set, which comes with the Rider suit, Moon Shadow Cloak, and your Black Leather Boots. And that is for your for your uh, shoes on level 80. On level 90, we will now be shifting to Vidar's boots so that you could complete your tier set. Okay, tier's blessing set. And for level 100, we will now focus on Goibin. Goibin? <laughs> Goibin um, boots, alright, for the Goibin set. And for the cards, we will now focus on agility again, but with added, you know, added tankiness. So, so Matir card is the way to go, or Mata card. Or on level 90 plus, if you're building a crit death build, go for Ragler card. For the enchant, it's stone skin as of now, or vitality or luck on the substats. But on level 80 to 90, you could also, you know, triple your tranquility enchant or fortitude for the modification it's still ignore defense as i've told you guys ignore defense is really the way to go here for the refinement also for resonance okay so let's now go to veros core okay so for the veros core we have a lot of things to consider here okay so in terms of our dimic cogwheel we have the momentum management module as your number one priority because of the attack speed. The next one would be core overload, but only use core overload on the Mikogwil or the yellow ones because it is really, you know, not going to be adding much of a difference if you use, if you use on a lower level than the yellow core. Next would be Aftershock. If you don't have the core overload, Aftershock is the way to go because now as an assassin, your double attacks now also crits. So this one is going to be the way to go when you have that dual dagger mastery up on level 10. And Jagged Slash, if still not, Jagged Slash is the way to go. It adds a little bit more damage to your to your um to your red cut because it has a chance for you to cast another red cut when you cast when you auto cast red cut on your own and lastly corrosive poison for additional damage on your poison skills or your deadly enchant poison for the pvp we have the poison boost for your cores because it would be slowing down the enemies that hit or get hit by your poison back rush so that you could you know get away from danger as fast as you can and concealed teeth so that your your surprise damage on the enemy is going to be a lot okay so for in terms of the con the con the in terms of the translation it's quite very far from the translation here but you could also look at it on your skill preview so that you would know which one to prioritize when you farm for cores all right 
So of course, what is a video guide without the damage test? Let's try it now. He says just just attack the dummy or your auto attack. Let's go. Look at this. Wait. Wait. 30, 40. We're not even modifying the stats of the dummy. 20 seconds, 60M. This has a lot more damage. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, anyway, I'm speechless. I am speechless. Well, <laughs> there you have it. I got nothing to say. Okay, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you happen to like this video, please do leave a like. Share this to your friends and click that bell notification button so you get notified every time I upload a new video start a new stream or a new content that's it see you again on the next video bye bye